channel so today's video is brought to you by West Kiss so I have heard about this company for a while and I have never worked with them this is my first time here's the wig here you guys already saw the unboxing of it and I truly hope you guys can see this color because it is amazing look at that color y'all and it's so funny I just reviewed a high density um curly wig from a different company and when I was doing my premiere somebody was like you know what this pattern would look so beautiful in a 99J color and I was like you know I got a video on the way so I'm excited about this so with the lace it was actually it's pretty light the lace is pretty light I did spray some lace tint on it but it's still light so I would have to do something a bit more drastic um, or I could just put powder in here but we'll see um, so I'm just gonna try this on and just see because I haven't tried it on yet but before I do that of course I got to cut the lace off in the back okay let's try her on and I have washed this lately I've been doing reviews and stuff um, my human hair wigs I haven't been washing them before like the last like two videos I've done I haven't washed them I've just been styling them out of the box but with curly hair wigs I typically wash them before I style them okay so this is what she's looking like she's been air drying for she's been dry for several days now this is another high density wig and I know a lot of people don't like high density wigs and I get it because it can be overwhelming. This is really really pretty though the color and it's curly because you know a lot of times with curly wigs they only come in black. This is 200% density guys. This is... I have to change my wig cap because I have on like a, a light brown one. And it's showing through a lot. This is... Alright, I found a black wig cap. And I have decided I'm gonna wear her as a middle part. For some reason I got a hole in my cap. okay that fits a lot better so all right so i went ahead and started to cut the lace before i decided to you know adhere it down and i got all the lace cut and then i took my got to be glued free spray and i went ahead and blow dried it if you look at the front of the hairline like where the middle part is it does look thin right there and I was like, is it because I tweezed it right there? But I don't remember tweezing this wig at all. But then I looked at the footage of me unboxing the wig and showing the hairline and everything. And it, it was actually pretty thin, like in that one spot in the middle coming right out the box. So I didn't tweeze the hairline on this wig. And you guys can see like as the middle part, it does look like it is thin right there. So that was an issue. And I was styling it as a middle part until I saw that and I was like, I can't style this as a middle part looking like that. So I did switch it to a side part um, and I thought it looked a lot, it looked a lot better. So I decided to put some powder on the lace to make it blend a bit more because with this wig, this is, you know, I think it probably started off as probably maybe 613 hair before they dyed it or whatever. Um, so the, the lace on this wig was super duper light and um i didn't you know bleach the i didn't uh tint the lace or anything so i just you know used my powder but 
if I were to apply this again, I would definitely uh, go ahead and tint the lace somehow, whether with lace tint or use my Sally Hansen spray tan. And so I styled it as a side part and I felt like it looked a lot better. Now I did use product on this wig and the curls did change from when, you know, after I let it air dry and stuff, I like the curl pattern of the fluffier look when it was like, you know, air dried for a few days, but this looked pretty good too. And this wig is all 99J, but I did take some black eyeshadow and create a small dark root on it just to be a little bit more comfortable and make it look more natural for me. And after I did that, that work, I did think it looked pretty. My only issue was like it was thin at the front in that one spot. So I couldn't wear a middle part comfortably. Um, it could have just been my wig that had that issue, but I wasn't feeling that too much. Yeah. So this wig is 200% density. I did get some shedding with this wig, but that's to be expected. This is a whole lot of hair. Um, that 200% density is huge. And I did recently have a, um, how I tame my high density curly wigs video. And this was, this was pretty, um, this was a lot of hair. So, um, if you're a beginner or you're just somebody that doesn't like to fool with a lot of hair, I definitely recommend going with a lighter density, something like 130 or something like that. Um, just so you can enjoy it and not worry about it fluffing up too much. I like big hair, but just for future reference, I'm probably going to be sticking with the lighter densities just because I, I just feel like they look very natural and they don't require as much energy and product to um, tame it. So. I do believe this this color of this wig is absolutely gorgeous, but um, I just had that issue with it being thin at the very front in the middle. And um, yeah, the lace was super light, but I wouldn't have an issue with the super light lace just as long as I could, you know, I could always, you know, tint it to, to be darker. So um, overall, I thought this wig was pretty, but I did have an issue with the... And, uh, thinned out in the front without me doing anything to it. So, um, shout out to West Kiss for sponsoring this video. If you are interested in this wig, you can head over to that website and pick it up there. Check and see if they have any Black Friday deals. If they do, you know, take advantage of it, save some coins. Thank you guys so much for watching my video, and I will see you in the next one.